there can be an entrepreneurial explosion in space, the same as I've seen on the internet over the last 20 years. I never expected to be able to start a space company. And I believe that we are sitting on the edge of a golden age of space exploration. Have we discovered alien life and what would it mean to our economy, our global economy, if we did? That's the question that I want to ask today as we learn that we may indeed, we being humanity, we may indeed have detected a techno signature from a region that's really not that far from Earth four light years away, which means that it would take light traveling at 186,000 miles per second for years to reach uh, this area of space. But uh, that's not that far uh, in the cosmic scheme of things. Now, look, let's go through a little of this, and then I want to start to ask some questions about what this may mean for our economy, because four light years away would mean that we are within eight years of being able to communicate with a society that may be more advanced. And maybe they have come up with an economic system that is different, maybe better than socialism and capitalism. That's the question that I think we need to look at. And, you know, we don't know. None of this has been confirmed, but... It's definitely a possibility, and we've got some very uh, noteworthy uh, folk here talking about what's going on with this possible techno signature. You might say, what is a techno signature? It's just a uh, phenomenon that would indicate that someone is using technology out there, and it's not a naturally occurring phenomenon. Like when you hear these folk come out with sensational headlines and say, radio signal detected from uh, deep in outer space. Well, that doesn't mean radio as in WWIN, you know, playing the, spinning the platters that matter. That's not what that means. Radio is a naturally occurring part of the electromagnetic spectrum. And, you know, sometimes different celestial objects kick off a certain Frequency, and we pick it up here. But this is different. The filmmaker, now this is a uh, guy that works with NASA. Uh, he claimed that telescopes on Earth have discovered evidence of intelligent alien life. And the announcement may come, the official announcement may come within the next few months. So this guy is a science filmmaker working for NASA. His name is Simon Holland. Uh, he's worked on projects with the BBC, Nat Geo, and NASA. And he told the Mirror last week that two groups of astronomers are vying to publish the first confirmed evidence of a possible extraterrestrial civilization. And again, I want to emphasize, we're looking at this because if it's definite that, you know, if this is confirmed, then the odds of them having democracies and capitalism and socialism are slim. They probably evolved along different uh, socioeconomic lines of thought. And who knows? Could be a better solution, right? Quote, we have found a non-human extraterrestrial intelligence in our galaxy, and people don't know about it, unquote, Holland said. The filmmaker claims a, contra uh, a contact with Mark Zuckerberg's Breakthrough Listen, which is a privately funded scientific research program aimed at finding evidence of civilizations beyond Earth, share the information with him. And that's what we want. We want evidence. We don't want speculation, right? So anyway, he's saying they found these scientists at the Breakthrough Listen they found the evidence of a non-human technological signature a few years ago using the Parkes Telescope in Australia. Now, a few years ago is important because that means they're taking their time to try to figure out what they've got, right? Could be a naturally occurring radio signal, but according to Holland, that's not what we have here. Holland claims that the Oxford-based project astronomers have identified uh, 
clear evidence of transmissions from another world and could announce the discovery within the next month. The groundbreaking claims require significant evidence, absolutely, and astronomer, astronomers are now racing to gather more supporting facts to reveal the discovery, you know, before they reveal it. However, Holland shared that the Chinese may try to beat them to it. Now, suppose wherever this is coming from, it's confirmed that it is indeed an artificial signal. Now, back here on Earth, we got our different nations with our different motivations and scarcity of resources. We're trying to figure out who can be the first to establish communication. Maybe this world isn't like that at all. Maybe they're, you know, unified as a species. Or maybe they're just like us, which would be disappointing, right? We don't know if this is true. We don't know what stage of development these folks are on. If they do exist, it could be that, you know, they are what we were in the 1940s, right? Uh, and we could be advanced to them. This is breaking news as of yesterday, but the Chinese might be pipping them to the post. Uh, I've never heard that phrase before. With their fast 500 meter aperture spherical telescope program. It's the largest telescope in the world since Arecibo, Holland told the Mirror. The Chinese are allegedly aware of the coordinates of the target object known as BLC-1 and are competing with Oxford-based projects to be with the Oxford-based project to be the first to establish the announcement. Holland shared that BLC-1 is regarded as the most promising because it appears to come from a single point source. The radio wave signal was initially detected in April of 2019 from Australia from the Australia based Parkes telescope at a frequency of 982 megahertz. Now this is important. The signal appeared from a region around Proxima Centauri, a star nearly 4.2 light years from Earth. Uh, Proxima Centauri is our closest solar neighbor. It's the closest star, well, Alpha Centauri is the closest so solar neighbor. Um, Proxima Centauri is is you know, in that region, but 4.2 light years away. So it would take us 4.2 years to get a signal to them. And if they got it and were able to interpret it and then were interested in responding, let's say all that took place lickety split, okay, which it won't because I'm sure they're not speaking English or Chinese if they're out there. Then but it, but if it did, it would take their signal, their response, another 4.2 years to get back to us. All right. So that lag time, though, that in the grand scheme of things, in the cosmic scheme of things, that's not a long time at all. Especially when you're talking about whether or not this may be some advanced civilization. OK. And look, let's look at it from the other uh side of the fence as well. If they are a less advanced civilization, but do have the ability and understanding to transmit radio signals, unfortunately, that would make humanity the dominant species. And I'm sure then we would be interested in going there and exploiting resources. Then we would be the evil invaders. But that's where we are in our development right now, unfortunately, right? You would prefer to see a team of scientists go out there, but who's going to back it? Only nation states have the money to create the type of craft that are able to, you know, uh, uh, reach speeds approaching the speed of light to get out there right now, unless you had the corporations uh, get involved. But corporations, they pale in comparison to the budgets of countries, right? All right. So the Breakthrough Listen project purchased $100 million of telescope time and began re-examining five potential candidates, one of which was BLC, Holland claimed. Um, the reason for locking in on the signal is that it appeared to be coming from a specific point. Rather than a big buzz of hydrogen, 
and other things that make sounds in the radio telescope spectrum. This was a possible electromagnetic frequency, uh, the kind of frequency that we would use here on Earth for radio broadcast. All right, so that would indicate technology. Holland shared the most significant clue that the signal appeared to be coming from a planet orbiting a star and had a, and has a it has a Doppler shift. So the Doppler shift is a change in frequency of a wave in relation to the observer who is moving relative to the source of the wave. So we don't know whether or not this will be confirmed. It's a possibility, but suppose it is confirmed. Suppose they are more advanced socially than us and even technologically. Suppose they have a whole different set of motivations, not the acquisition of wealth and stuff. Suppose their motivations center around the advancement of the species, of the conscious being, the uh, desire to go out and explore, to create alliances, and uh, to talk about, well, here's an energy source that you all can use, and it basically doesn't cost anything. Are we at a point in our development where we would appreciate something like that? Or will we put it on a shelf because Exxon, Raytheon, Pfizer, they all need to make money. The shareholders need to make money. Are we at a place even in the middle class and socioeconomic classes below the middle class? Are we ready to say to hell with materialism? We can have it all if we change our mindset to one of just development of the species. I don't think we're there yet. So if they are more advanced, then what will probably end up happening is corporations like Mark Zuckerberg's corporations, he is funding this breakthrough listen project, will exploit whatever technological advances that are able to be had here. Okay. Uh, does this make the case for investing in Meta if they're able to, you know, get their hands on some of this? The Alien franchise had a company called Whalen Utani, and boy, were they evil. Uh, if you're a fan of the Alien franchise, you know what I'm talking about. So it looks as though we're probably headed further in that direction than in the direction of a franchise like Star Trek, where they had transcended the need for money.